At least for the past half a year, we have been in a dry spell for new cars. But luckily, this isn't the case for supercars. Once again, we are ready to present an all-new dozen of models that are better looking, faster and more powerful. So let's satisfy our hunger for the car news, but first subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell. Enjoy the ride! Aston Martin V12 Vantage Often referred to as the baby Aston, the Vantage once again arrives with a V12 engine at its heart. The latter is a company-developed 5.2-liter twin-turbo mill borrowed from the larger TPS Super Ligira. Here, it sends 700 horsepower and 555 pound-feet to the rear wheels with the help of a specially calibrated ZF 8-speed automatic and a mechanical limited slip differential. The car accelerates to 60 in 3.4 seconds, while its power-to-weight ratio improves by 20% compared to the V8 model and reaches 390 horses per ton. Its bodywork features carbon fiber elements and is 1.6 inches wider than the regular Vantage. Additionally, numerous aerodynamic improvements allow it to generate 450 pounds of downforce at the maximum speed of 200 mph. The model also benefits from unique chassis tuning, new carbon ceramic disc brakes and lighter 21-inch wheels wrapped in performance-grade Michelin Pilot 4S tires. Mercedes-AMG GT Track Series AMG GT Black Series of 2022 is already a formidable racing weapon, but with this 55 units limited edition, the German brand solidifies its track day credentials. The most significant upgrade is an all-new carbon fiber aero kit that features an exclusive front grille, a modified mechanically adjustable rear wing and a specially developed high downforce front splitter. To handle the stress and racing G-forces, the track series is equipped with adjustable 4-way Bilstein dampers, while the stopping power is ensured by the motorsport grade steel brakes, 15.4 inches front and 14 in the rear. Furthermore, the braking system features racing ABS and traction control. As before, the car is powered by a 4-liter bi-turbo V8 and comes paired with a 6-speed sequential gearbox from Hewland. Over here, though, it gains 14 horses and 37 pound-feet, totaling at 734 HP and 627 pound-feet. Lastly, to prove its legitimate track potential, the Mercedes-AMG GT track series meets the latest FIA standards. Arta Mechanics Legavello this ultra-expensive kit from the Japanese Arta Mechanics gives you a chance to own the most exclusive Honda NSX ever made, as only five kits are going to be delivered. The Legavello gives the stock bodywork a hypercar look, offering a new hood design, reworked angular fenders with air vents, a custom rear wing and unique forged aluminum wheels. Many new body components are handcrafted from carbon fiber. The visual upgrades also include a new rear end that sports a centrally positioned quad exhaust system. The latter adds no power nor extra noise, but the new pipes look exactly like the ones on the 2.5 million worth Pagani Huayra. Arta does not reveal the exact data whether the lightweight body influenced the car's performance, but the stock twin turbo V6 hybrid powertrain with three electric motors is still unchanged. It outputs 573 horsepower and 476 pound feet of torque. Noble M500 Promised since 2018, the M500 will become the first only Noble model since the release of the M600 in 2010. The spec to basic sports car sits on a steel tubular chassis, boasts glass reinforced composite bodywork, and instead of the previously promised 3 liter, requires a new 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 from Ford. The mill is expected to make 550 horses. Channeled by a 6-speed manual Graziano exclusively to the rear wheels. The driver will control the gearbox through a gated shifter. 
it is unclear whether a 7-speed DCT with pedal shifters is still on the table. The car does not offer ABS brakes or airbags, but gets a hydraulically assisted steering wheel, contemporary infotainment, digital cluster, and Recaro race seats. Gordon Murray T33 Gordon Murray Automotive is yet to deliver the first units of the T50 supercar, but the legendary designer is already eyeing a new project that has already been sold out. The T33 is influenced by the cleanly styled and gorgeously proportioned 60 sports cars. The major advantage of Gordon's car is lightness, so this more affordable version still aims for 2400 pounds. It rides on a new platform and gets a modified version of the 3.9-liter V12 engine, the so-called Cosworth GMA 2.0. This unit weighs mere 392 pounds, revs to blistering 11,100 rpm and yields 615 horsepower. The buyers will get an option of an H-gate 6-speed manual or an instantaneous gear change system 6-speed pedal shift gearbox, both from x -Track. The interior of the Gordon Murray T33 is elegant and functional. There are two ergonomic seats, a 120mm flat-lit analog tachometer, and an exposed gear change mechanism. That like button must be smashed. Also, make sure to visit the comment section once you're done watching this video. Thanks for the feedback and let's proceed! Ford GT Allen Mann Heritage Edition Ever since the current generation of the Ford GT had been introduced in 2016, each year the model received a special edition version. In 2022 it honors the two lightweight GT prototypes created by Allen Mann Racing in 1965 and 1966. The model wears bright red exterior paint and racing livery with stripes in gold and white. Instead of using aluminum like the originals, the 2022 GT graduates to more modern materials, like carbon fiber. The latter is applied both in the bodywork and inside the car. Its 20-inch wheels, front splitter and rear diffuser, as well as the center console and sport seats, are all made of carbon fiber. The cabin is also wrapped in Alcantara and ebony leather. Like all of the other new GTs, this one is motivated by 3.5-liter twin turbo V6 tuned to 660 horses and 550 pound-feet. Alpine A4810 Project by IED A close collaboration between the Italian Design School and the French Alpine gives life to this hydrogen-fueled concept supercar. The two-seater boasts aerodynamic Formula One-inspired body made of carbon fiber and sustainable materials. There is a gigantic splitter on the front end, ultra-thin strip of LED lights and massive wheel arches. The rear end also sports futuristic transparent LED taillights shaped like light blades. Another highlight of the concept's exterior is a matte black glass canopy stretching across the entire length of the body. A rather spacious cabin features a duo of low-slung bucket seats with a fixed backrest angle, Formula One-derived steering wheel, futuristic console panel in the center, and red ambient lighting. Unfortunately, except for the fact that it runs on hydrogen, no word has been given about the powertrain details. DS E10's performance The development of the next-generation car designs by DS Automobiles begins with this high-performance laboratory study. The French premium brand has consecutively lifted the Formula E teams and drivers' titles, and now broadcasts the gained expertise onto this design study. The DS E10's performance is a single-seat tracer based on a carbon monocoque. The 815-horsepower four-wheel-drive powertrain is comprised of twin electric motors 
with 5,900 pound-feet of torque at the wheels. The battery was designed in cooperation with Saft. Its innovative features include a unique chemistry and an immersive liquid cooling system for cells with a ground-breaking quartz EV fluid solution. Panopolis Chaos This company is a skilled drag racing engine builder from Greece that is famous for pulling insane amounts of power even from small displacement mills. This year they are taking on a new project, developing the most powerful road legal car on the market. The Chaos will be offered in two modifications, Earth and Zero Gravity, rated for 2049 and 3065 horses respectively. Both are powered by a 4-liter 90-degree V10 that drafts to 12,200 RPM maximum and can be paired with a 7 or an 8-speed dual clutch. The car is based on a monocoque chassis from a synthetic polymer called Xylon. The wheels and brakes are 3D printed from magnesium and the bodywork is primarily made of carbon fiber or carbon Kevlar. Audi Hunitron This one-of-a-kind electric Audi was developed specifically for Ken Block, a Hunigan Racing Division rally driver and drift artist, famous for producing and starring in Gimkana racing videos on YouTube. The prototype will become a central piece of his future video series, already labeled by the media as Electricana. The visual aesthetics of the car pay homage to the legendary Pike Peak Audi S1 Sport Quattro, though its aerodynamics are modernized. The car is underpinned by carbon fiber chassis, is designed to comply with the latest FIA racing standards, while its power comes from dual motors with a quattro all-wheel drive system. Other specifications of the S1 e-tron are yet to be disclosed, but surely it will perform controlled drifts with ease. ProDrive Hunter Hypercar ProDrive is one of the world's most successful multidisciplined motorsports and advanced engineering groups headquartered in Banbury, England. The Hunter was born out of the Bahrain Raid Extreme competition car driven by the nine-time world champion Sebastian Loeb in the car competition. This mighty four-wheel drive off-roader gets a 50% increase in power so the 3.5-liter twin turbo V6 now makes 600 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. The manual sequential transmission was replaced with a six-speed pedal shift for faster and smoother gear changes. The Hunter Hypercar stays true to the original, so it keeps a high tensile steel space frame chassis, an FIA standard safety cage, an all-round double wishbone suspension with 400mm travel to an adjustable dampers, and ventilated six-spot racing brakes. Since the body is entirely made of carbon composites, the Pro Drive remains lightweight, and the 4 does 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds and can reach 180 miles per hour speeds. Which is your favorite supercar model of the upcoming 2023? I'll be waiting for you in the comment section to discuss the lineup. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, like this video, and proceed to watching more informative content by following the links on the screen. Visit our website from the pinned comment to find out the ways to support us. May the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!